So my father was from Florence. He was a non-traditional person with very traditional values. From my father's point of view, I was told that I was definitely not talented, but that I was very smart and that I should be a lawyer. So I went to law school. And when I quit law school and decided I'm gonna, and said I'm gonna study film because that's what I really wanna do, he got very mad at me. But once I got into film school, I realized immediately that editing was for me. So I don't think I'm creative from zero. Like I'm not a good person in front of a blank page. But if you give me something on a page, I can make the best of it. You know, and that's kind of like an editor. It's a little bit like a cook. If you have good ingredients, you can make something really good. I know I kind of have an instinct for how to put things together, but I'm not so good at starting from nothing. Honest. Fabulous. In one word, a very wonderful person. Captivating. Smart. Charismatic. Definitely above all, like, probably my best friend. Spicy. <laughs> just such a funny person. I'd say not just like one thing in particular, but when we're watching these movies and talking about them after, her, our conversation kind of turns into like life lessons almost. Having a presence about yourself, exuding confidence, seeing what you want in life and then going for it. And I think to myself, this is paradise. A couple months later, I get a call that, and she says, we're actually looking for an apprentice sound effects editor. And I got the job. And that day is to this day one of the happiest days of my life. And from there, I got called on The Godfather Part 3 when I finished that. And then I pretty much only worked for Coppola for a year, for I guess about three or four years. and I quit editing. The reason that most people leave most places and go to other places is love. Sometimes me and my sister, we joke about it. We say like, can you imagine you left an amazing career to, you know, like go back to Florence where you knew that you had no options in working in film. So that's when I met Giorgio. I went back and forth for a couple years, then went back to America, came back, and then I decided to get married and have a family. You want to know if I regret it? <laughs> no. I miss it, but I don't regret it. Thing, I had a lot of fun being a mom, so I like being a mom and a teacher. Her ability to balance being a mother with teaching at six schools. She imparts a lot of wisdom on bigger concepts than just film itself. I have seen her teaching, I have heard her also in our class, she has been guest uh, explaining what the editing in movies really means, but not on a technical level, on a human level. Every time you tell somebody something, you're telling yourself the same thing. If I talk to you about the beauty of life because of a certain movie, I'm also telling myself that. And so it makes me stronger. Because I had to create a syllabus that was called Women Protagonists in Italian Cinema. I looked at almost every movie made by an Italian f female director. And I wasn't very satisfied, I have to say. And then I started thinking about it, and there aren't that many women film directors in the world. So, and that's not anybody's fault except ours. We can, we can be directors. We should be directors. Um, and we should show a different perspective. <laughs>